I'm Marty Michelle, and I want to show you how to cut corner triangles for a kaleidoscope block with our From Marty Michelle Kaleido Ruler. Now, other people have made the, par the part of the ruler that cuts an acute isosceles triangle with a 67 and a half degree angle here. That seems pretty obvious why you want permanent acrylic. But typically what people do is tell you to put a bigger corner on because everybody knows how to cut right angle triangles. But I want you to cut right angle triangles that are the correct size and that you don't have to true up a block when you're through. Now the, I think the reason nobody wanted to do that is because the sizes are odd. The math on this, if the block is a nice finished size, then the strip you need to cut those triangles often ends in 1 16th of an inch or 1 32nd of an inch. And nobody wants to try to find that on their ruler. Well, I didn't want to either. So when I developed this ruler, I said, you know, all I need is a guideline. I don't need to know what that is as long as it's the right thing. So I told you before, all you need to do is remember what size block you're making. We've already cut the dark, large triangles for our 8-inch block. So now we're going to turn the ruler and look for the part that says cut strips for corner triangles. It's above the longest edge of the ruler. And I'm going to come up and follow. Remember, I'm making 8 inch block, 6 inch, 7 inch, 8 inch. There's an arrow that points to the line, the 8 inch block. So that is what I'm going to use to measure with. Now, try to remember if, this, if you're having any trouble with this, it's because Instead of having your fabric go to the right, like a lot of you do at home, I always have my fabric to the left. I'm right-handed for cutting. And then I use the tool. I find that 8-inch line and put it right on the trued-up edge of my fabric. I'm not going to cut here because that's left-handed. Use my regular ruler, and it goes right up next to the Kaleida ruler. The Kaleida ruler goes away, and then I'm ready to cut the strip width for the corner triangles. Once again, just walk your hand across that. And again, one of the advantages of this is when you have that pesky little thread, you can cut it again before you move the ruler. All right. Now, when the ruler was designed, once we had this strip, the intention was to turn the ruler to the pointed end. We have a dull end, we have the long edge, and turn the ruler to the pointed end and find six, seven, eight inch block. And sure enough, if I put that line right on the edge of the fabric and cut, it was going to be the perfect triangle. But let me show you with this. You see what happens, don't you? That ruler pokes me in the tummy. Now remember I said you could make the 8-inch block with the small ruler, so it doesn't happen with that. But I discovered another thing. Well, first I'm going to show you this. Any straight line, and I've got lots of them, put along the this edge, and I'm just going to true up an end here because the original way the ruler was designed was I could put the edge where the 8 inch line comes right on the corner. I could put the 8 inch block line right on the edge, and oh, sure enough, the point is right there, and I would cut here. Now I've got a square, and then come over here and cut for the triangles. Now don't forget, you only need half as many corner triangles 
as the triangles in the center of the block. So that was one way. Now I've got a trued up end here, don't I? Because I just cut a straight line. Before long, I figured out, oh, if from here to here is the perfect width for the strips, for the triangles, from here to here, same line, could be used to make a square. Because that's the definition, isn't it, of a square. All four sides equal length. So now what I've done is I've turned the ruler, but instead of using the point up here, I'm coming right down here, and I'm taking that 8-inch line. I like to have, because there's the line, I like to use one of these lines on the top. Now when I cut, I'm going to make a square. And now, if I turn this ruler and just use it like any old edge of acrylic and cut from edge to edge, I've also cut corner triangles. And they are exactly the same size as using the pointed end of the ruler. So I've given you two ways to cut the corner triangles. Don't forget, you're first going to use from here to here to measure the strip width. My daughter loves to joke about it and say, it's Marty measure. You don't need to know what it is. You just need to know it's right. So I hope you'll enjoy cutting kaleidoscope blocks with the From Marty Michelle Kaleido Ruler. And if you want more ideas on blocks you can make, I hope you'll enjoy using the Kaleidoscope ABC's book. Thanks for watching.